Hello, Betty Croswick here. Lots to talk about today uh, around the issues of the, the mayhem that's happening out at Berry Creek. First thing, right off, I want to apologize for the um, for the carte blanche um, excuse that I attempted to apply to the RCMP on my last post. Um, I actually was not aware of the extent of the of the damage that they are inflicting on the people at Ferry Creek and also to their own reputation and the reputation of their uh, their police force and the chiefs of the RCMP. Uh, why are they allowing their their officers to engage in this uh, kind of uh, a disregard for the rights of the protesters? Are are they ordering this uh, real manhandling of the people with very little uh, um, care uh, about what they are uh, doing to the situation, how they are elevating it and, and uh, letting it spiral out of control into somebody is really, really going to be hurt. Where is uh, where is David Eby on this? Um, the Attorney General. Where is uh, John Horgan, I premier? Where is he? Uh, is he hiding? He doesn't want to talk about this. Um, well, I want to talk about it, and I want to talk about a new. Um, organization, environmental uh, group that have that has come to the fore, and they sound wonderful. Their name is the, um, the Rainforest Flying Squad, and they are completely volunteers, and they are going where uh, the old growth forest, what's left of them, the little tads and shreds of old growth forests that are left in British Columbia where they are in danger and trying to help anyone who may be trying to uh, push back on this. Um, they, um, on their website, please go to their website and look at um, the pictures of what the police are doing to the protesters. And also, there is an, another film that has just come to my attention. Uh, his name is Luke Wallace. He's from The Lion, and he just sent uh, The Lion at uh, of, of Forest Defenders at Ferry Creek, and he just sent uh, a um, uh, selfie talking uh, a video talking about what is happening there but please look at the uh, flying squads website and look at the videos of how the police are conducting themselves and uh, I'm sure that you too will be um, abashed and astonished that this is happening in British Columbia um, it's like they were treating uh, indigenous peoples and foreign countries fighting for their uh, uh, land uh, where the uh, the local police just mistreat them terribly and even shoot them. So are we getting where our standards are getting so low that somebody might really be hurt out there or possibly killed? So. Um, I don't want to do hyperbole stuff <laughs> because I could do that too. But really, this is a serious situation out there about the police violence. But another thing I really like about the Flying Squad is that um, and they're on their a website, they're talking about the absence of any of the 
major, major environmental groups in British Columbia that were in such huge uh, headlines uh, uh, years back after, uh, during the Clackwood Sound, how, uh, you know, every environmental group under the sun uh, was trying to edge in on this, you know, uh, that this uh, is a uh, extraordinary happening. Well, where are uh, they after the Clackwood Sound? Uh, I'll tell you where they're at after the Clackwood Sound and the, the Flying Squad wants to know where they are too because uh, the, fly, the way the, uh, the fellow who wrote this article, his name is Chris S. S. Case. Chris S. Case. Uh, he's saying that um, that they are wishing that the CEOs of all of these big environmental groups would uh, drop their tax status uh, position uh, in favor of trying to save the rainforest, which is what they are supposed to be doing. But instead, they're very reticent because they don't want to lose their tax status. Uh, and uh, they're, um, and if they are engaged in uh, civil disobedience, they will lose their tax status because then they're political and not working for the environment. So they have preserved their tax status and their foundations, and so they are they are good with their finances. Uh, but I think there is also another reason where, now you know the big names, and I won't name them. You all know the big names of and the CEOs who won't come in. It takes a, a spontaneous organization of a unheard of group who's just organized to try to fill in with their organizational uh, abilities, and but certainly. The um, organizations who could really, really affect this um, this mess at uh, um, that, at the creek would be uh, uh, the big uh, organization, uh, organizational people, you know, who know how to uh, who have all of the skills, which is why they're got to be organizations but getting back to this uh, this one um, issue that I want to talk about is another reason they're not out there is because most of them have signed an agreement with the government um, with the Christie Clark government um, uh, almost well they started working on this agreement 20 years ago but it was finalized not that uh, different not that many years ago, it, uh, uh, it was announced to the public that there is this agreement, and it's called the uh, um, the Great Bear Rainforest Agreement. And in order to preserve this, uh, it's a vast expanse of land. It's 6.5 acres or hectares, it's a million hectares. Um, uh, on the central and the north coast, and it's beautiful, and it's got polar bear, or uh, spirit bears, and all of uh, the uh, wonderful things that people want to preserve there. They signed an agreement that they would not uh, uh, lead or uh, encourage or support civil disobedience in uh, the province of British Columbia from this time forward and they signed that agreement and now that's a legal agreement <laughs> if they break it now they'll be sued but they've been pretty good about sticking to this agreement you know they won't come out even if the whole damn province was was going you know burning up and every last stick was because uh first their agreement they would be sued if they did this i suppose but this agreement was signed with the first nations that lived in that 
area of the great forest and with the government, Christy Clark government, and with uh, with the logging companies, you know, that if they'll just leave that alone, they won't bother, they won't um, mess or come out and try to defend anything else in British Columbia. It can all do whatever it's going to do. They've got their uh, piece of land safe. So that's another reason why you don't see any uh, NGOs uh, uh, flocking to uh, the um, the creek, uh, the Ferry Creek, and that includes David Suzuki. I love David Suzuki. I think he's a great teacher. He also was a prisoner of his foundation. You know, if David Suzuki went out there and uh, uh, immediately started a uh, uh, preaching. To <laughs> the people, <laughs> you know, this has to be stopped. Where is Oregon? Where is he? Would get them all lined up, and they would go down one by one. He could do that. He said he's hard to do that. He's not going to do that. His foundation won't let him, really. So um, there you go. Uh, but back to the people at Ferry Creek. Please watch this uh, uh, movie that. A, a video that was just sent in by this uh, fellow. His name is uh, Luke Wallace, and he's really ticked off, and he uses a bit of bad language here and there. But, you know, they're under stress, and they're young. They're, they don't know yet how exactly to deal with what is happening. Well, none of us do, but um, just listen to what he has to say and also go to the um, the, the uh, uh, Flying Squad, uh, uh, well, it's the, the Rainforest Flying Squad comes first. I try to say Flying Squad Rainforest, <laughs> but the Rainforest comes first, Rainforest, fly, Rainforest Flying Squad. And look at their videos that they've got in there. They'll make the hair rise on the back of your head. Something has got to be done about this violence out there at uh, um, Ferry Creek. That's all there is to it. It's not going to stand the way it is. Something terrible will happen out there. So let's, let's alert everybody we can to the possibilities of uh, really bad things happening out there. So um, that'll be it for today. Um, God bless Canada. And God bless the people at uh, Ferry Creek. Um, next time. Thank you.